All praise to the Creator. And no bows, this is a very important message. Peace and love, everyone. It's an important message. All right? Now, I was sitting there thinking, I said, Creator. And I had the same conversation with other people. Um, but not in the depth to the point that I'm about to say to you, because I finally got my answer. But I've been saying before, I've been saying, I'll say what the answer I was before, I was saying, Creator, how come the people who are only praising the Creator only, like they're supposed to, have not left? The cities and the countries. Why is this? This is what I legit said in my mind since I was talking to the Creator. And all of the camps and folks who are calling on outside, all calling on names and um, doing some of the pagan days that I keep telling you not to do and doing the Saturday Sabbath that I told y'all not to do. How come those are the ones that are going? <laughs> and, and I was talking to Brother Sinky and I mentioned to this to uh, Brother Sinky about the camps and so forth, right? And I said, it's really funny that all the camps and everybody who's doing all the, uh, doing some of the days they ain't supposed to be doing, not all days, but some of the days they ain't supposed to be doing, and doing a Saturday Sabbath, those are the ones that's getting to go. I said, I don't understand this. Because all the uh, people who are only serving the creator has not left yet. I said, I've been noticing this for a couple of months now, and I haven't figured it out. But the sink he didn't really didn't have much to say about that. You know, he said a little something, but he didn't have much to say about it. Really, he didn't really say anything at all really about it. So, and this this question has not stopped. So I asked the question, the same question again today, and I says, Creator. And you know, this is when we talk to him, you know, using my I communicate him without talking, majority of the time. From what I understand, I believe I do. Um, and when the creator, I don't even know how to explain this shit. Cause you don't, it's nobody's talking to you out loud, but it's like he's talking to you through your brain. But you can hear his, his voice, but it's not a voice. I don't even know how to explain this shit. It's too hard to explain. But anyhow, let me let me just get to the point, right? So I said, creator. How come all the people who are in the camps calling them names have been going to folks doing a Saturday Sabbath and doing three of the feast days ain't supposed to be doing because three of them are the devils that he snuck in there and I want folks to post evidence about it and everything. How come these people are going? Everybody that's serving the devil that claims to serve most high is going. They're leaving the cities. And a lot of white folks live in the cities too. I said, how come they're going, but the folks who are, your people who are only serving the crater only, have not left. All my efforts, they have not left. Here's the answer I got, and it blew my fucking mind, y'all. I had a problem with this, to be honest with you. I had a real problem with it. But you know, you gotta work through stuff when you deal with the crater sometimes, <laughs> to say the least. And that, was, that shit pissed me off, I ain't gonna lie. But you know, I had to shut up and hold it in, couldn't express how I felt. I'm pretty sure he knew how I felt. The crater knows how I felt, but I had to be, be smart and not express those feelings. Oh, it's having a hard time. I'm still having a hard time with it, but all right, it is what it is. So he said, the crater said, gotta stop saying he, because he's not he or she, because the spirit. So the crater said to me, not out loud, not speaking to me, but you know, how it communicates with me. Those who try to save their life will lose their lives. So I said, what the fuck? That's what I wanted to say. But I was like, what, 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 what? hold on, what? Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going through all that sort of stuff. You know, that's when I started talking out loud. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait, hold on. But you said, hold on, you know? Did that for about a minute. 
So of course I thought you said the scripture says this. Go to the wilderness so you can be mine. He said, look who wrote that. But the, but then see the funny thing is I'm looking at who wrote it, all this stuff, and so maybe he did that to a point to me. <laughs> He did it to a point to me about a couple of things. So everything in that New Testament isn't wrong. I still think, majority of it is wrong. I still stand on that. But everything is not wrong. But I said that before. But apparently he's opened up my eyes to some things that is right in the New Testament. Which blew my mind. I know it's not no Mr. J stuff. Don't try it. For all you Christians that thought I was going to go there. You sadly mistaken. Not a, you better, man, please. You better off gambling. You ain't gonna win this way with that boost, and you definitely ain't gonna most likely not win that way either. And if you do, you're lucky. Because you ain't winning this way no matter what. If you gamble this way with me talking about some Mr. J stuff, you're gonna lose every time. Plus, I don't can't gamble because it's, 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 it's against my heritage. So, won't be doing that. But anyhow, so I start reading. And this, man, this is how the cradle works. This is ridiculous. I'm just so mad right now. <laughs> now, I'm not telling you not go to the wilderness. And I'm not telling you to go to the wilderness. I'm telling you think everything thoroughly through. I still have plans to go to the wilderness. But now I'm a little, a little worried. I, I think I need to make sure I keep thinking things through. But I still want to get out the cities. Because, you know... I don't, I, honestly, I think at this point, no matter where you go or hide, if, if the crater wants you because you're doing something wrong, then you're gonna be you, you're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead. That's simple. So when we get straight to this, if if he's mad at you, and the crater gonna let them out, those evil demons get you if he's mad. So it don't matter where you go. And that's what this has told me. It's pretty much so me. It don't matter where you go. If you don't, if you do, if you ain't right, you're done. Period. So you gotta be right. Is the first thing. And I, um, I don't know if we're going to be right. Um, just do the best you can, please. But Isaiah 11 and 12, it's right in front of your face. Listen, I'm just giving you what the Creator gave me. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts. Outcasts are the bad ones. The ones that be the evil doers, okay? The ones who are the false prophets and so forth. So he sell. Where's my oh my ad again? Oh no, stop! I'll stop. Okay, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. I explain what it is. That's very important. Hold on to that and gather together and this. And desperate or D D separate D D separate Desperate of Judah, sorry. From the four corners of the earth. So basically, this is saying that he's gonna make sure that the devil kills. First he's gonna make sure that they get assembled, all the evil doers of Israel. And then they're going to get killed by the devil. And it's going to happen all four of the corners of the earth, no matter where you are, no matter where you at. So, the symbol is not a good thing like we thought it was. And the, the thing that came to my mind is, is you, be, you should be in the same places as you are in slavery when, you know, he sends a good army. And I said, why did that come across? Like, I know... I can't say I didn't hear that. I know that I heard that. So. Now he gave me this. Where's it at? Oh, ain't the devil slick. He wants to hide it, y'all. Wow, homie. The devil just took away what was down here off the screen. Grimy. For real, Crater? Hold on, we don't, oh, no, 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 let me figure this out. Let me, reload that. Don't play. We're gonna, just, okay, Crater.
Okay. That's what folks was going to say. Saw the Canaan pass. Folks will say that we're not his people. That's what he's saying. And then they're going to see that we're his people. Okay. Now what I was trying to find was... Okay. Right. Yeah, don't make it disappear. Okay. It's all right, Crater. You showed me. I'm going to show them the best I can. And double this some slick shit. Okay, so here we go. We got to go to John. Right? So it seems like Paul Vitasis was quoting, not all the time, because a lot of times he was lying. Fuck that. The motherfucker was a lie. He lied. I still say he lied 90% of the time. <laughs> I said I still, I'm still trying to tell you that. You can't convince me no, no difference. But yeah. But anyway, since the creator had to show me this, then he showed me that John, I mean, uh, oh shit, John the Baptist. So Paul of Tarsus is quoting with so-called John the Baptist, which is Preston John, King David, um, Sims Enoch, and Elijah was saying, because they're all the same person, but they put Mr. J in place on But okay, John. So he's, so this is Paul of Tarsus quoting John, uh, they're trying to say John the Baptist, but it's really so-called Preston John, so-called Sims Enoch. Okay, the priest king warrior. However, we did not praise him, and he never said he was going to rise, and yes, he did die. Okay, now, King James Version, then they went, sorry, out of the city and came unto him, John. Then they went out of the city and came unto him. That's King James, right? So first what he said, he's going to destroy who? The evildoers. After the evildoers are destroyed from all four corners, then he's going to bring us out of the city. And I know I said something like that before. That the Bible also said that, and I, I quoted it before. But, you know, didn't think to read it. All right, again, but of course I had to read it now. The creator showed me stuff that I I would not have read. I kid you not. This is the answer he gave me. So all this must all this goes with the answer. He said, "Look this up. Look that up. Look this up." And I said, "Okay, King James Version. Put it in there. And boom. All right." And I said, "Oh shit." And yeah, I'm still kind of butt hurt over because you know I can't stand the New Testament. I've been tearing this shit down for a long time. And I did say not everything's a lie. Some things are true in that New Testament. But 90% of that shit is still a lie. I don't care what you say. You ain't gonna convince me. All right? Especially that Mr. J shit. I got too much evidence that that shit's a lie. So, okay, Luke. So Paul Tarsus is quoting some people. So here's what the creator showed me. Whoso, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. For who is it? Uh, Luke 9, 24. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Matthew. For whosoever will save his his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profit? For he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give to exchange? Tell me what's going on now as far as the exchange part. For his soul. Y'all know what they want y'all to do. Don't do it. Mark 9, I'm sorry, 8, 35, and 37. For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the truth 
They put the gospel in there and fucking try to trick you. So the, the devil has to always stick the hijack. So that's what Paul said hijack in there, right there, the gospel. Bullshit. Fuck the gospel. Get to the facts. Who shall lose his life for the truth, for the creator, all right? Believe in that he'll resurrect you, the promise, because you don't take down, you don't take the mark. This is, it looks like it's time for us to take a stand, huh? The same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Your soul is your body, y'all. You are the spirit. When you lose your soul, your body goes to hell. If you sold it, it doesn't matter how you did it. And y'all know what I'm talking about, 37. Or what shall a man give to exchange for his soul? So the credit basis let me know, okay, I'm not saying he's stupid, but do recognize that I'm going to make sure all of the evildoers of the um, Israel that are bad, the ones that I'm not going to save, I'm going to gather them all together and then allow the devil to destroy them. So... I did notice all of the bad motherfuckers, most of them, are out in the wilderness. All these camps, folks doing Sabbath days, so-called Saturday, which is double told you to do that day. I showed the evidence. I showed the way he had motherfuckers as slaves, and he told motherfuckers to take Saturdays off to count his gold. I showed it. So you can't say I'm lying, nigga. <laughs> Not the nigga, Naga. <laughs> You can't say I'm lying, Naga. Nagas, you can't say I'm lying, Nagas. And nor can you white people. Y'all can't say white people is a derogatory term. Well, see, I call you my biblical name, you'll get mad at me too. So I'll just say outside nations because you're not us. And of course, we both can agree on that. You know what I'm saying? We both obviously live on this planet. So there's no hate and no prejudice coming from me. I don't hate you for race, creed, or color, or what you have done. Um, that's something which people have done is something you and the creator has to have to deal deal with and uh, I'm trying to just get stay out the way of all that mess because I don't want nothing to do with it but I'm just making sure I stay right and I do my best to keep doing right for the for the because creator wants me to and keep doing these teachings but now the creator also let me know through this lesson so eventually yeah we will go but he's basically letting us go after he gets, gets draws all the bad folks out the people that are bad of Israel and gets rid of them then we will leave but it's also there's, there's one of the, the, the chapter I was trying to read you that says that um, destroying something about destroying the city and stuff too and something about us be, being happy and, and everything and I guess that happened in the past. But he's saying, then we'll leave this, we'll leave the city after he destroys the outcast. And the outcast is going to be in the wilderness because he's gathering them. And I guess he has been gathering them. And this is why the camps and everything else, people who, not, who are doing the Saturdays, I told y'all not to do it. I proved it why not to do it. And y'all doing the Sundays, I proved and I've been told y'all why not to do it. People are saying all these names. I told y'all why not to be doing it. And all these camps and congregations that I told y'all not to be doing what y'all doing. Folks don't want to listen to me though. So that's who's been leaving. So at this point, I advise that you only leave with those who are not saying names, those who are not doing Saturdays, those who are not doing Sundays, those who are following the creator only. I've proven all the stuff that I'm telling you. As a matter of fact, damn it. Most my fuckers are, okay. I did prove it, but it's on my old my old channels. Some of my old channels are not down. Some of my channels you can still go to, but the main channel they took, they took it, they got rid of that channel, and I probably had it on that channel. But I showed it. Yo, those who've been watching me, y'all know I showed that shit. Man, please listen to me. But please go research it for yourself so you can see what I showed y'all. So um, you know, end of the day, be wise and follow the creator only and don't be wicked, don't do anything bad at all. The creator's gonna draw out, and he has been drawing out and gathering from all four corners, all of the outcasts, the bad people of Israel that he is obviously going to kill. I read that scripture for you, or allowed the devil to kill. Sorry, Shalakia, right? 
So we gonna leave after that's done. And this is why he keeps reminding me we'll be in the same places of our captivity when he frees us. So, damn, all I can say is it's gonna be ugly. And when I put in uh, King James Version where it says leaves, go to us so you can be mine. The scripture I got y'all that that's popped up was that scripture from the scripture that created one to pop up. And that was the fact that he was gonna gather the wicked of Israel out of the cities from all four corners of the earth into the wilderness and then he's going to let the devil kill him and then the true people of Israel who are serving Christ only will leave and go to the cities out and go to the wilderness and this is why we're still here this is why we have not left so anybody hearing this message sit tight and let's just wait for the creator to tell us to get ready to go we do got to leave soon but he has he got some work he got some dirty work he about to get done first y'all so it looks like when it says it's going to be a pleasure for a king to see the fall of his enemy, looks like the ones who actually truly serve the crater are going to be get to get to have a front row seat. We're going to get to see it all, and then we're going to get free. Please, sir, the crater only, man. So we will go to wellness eventually, but apparently this this. There's, there's something to it than more than I've have seen, and I'm supposed to know the most, or be or one of the three that know the most. And what can I say? The creator still teaching me, man. This is crazy. This shit's some crazy shit. So I don't know. I will say I don't get where you at. I'm I'm still I believe in building bunkers and shit like that. I think you should and all that stuff. And I'm not telling you not go to the wilderness. I'm just giving you what the creator gave me, and this is food for thought. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Because this shit got me thinking too. Man, but I still got plans to go to the wilderness. I just want to be... I want to go when the time is right. I ain't trying to go when he's gathering outcasts and killing motherfuckers. I'm good with that. Peace and shalom.